Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going into Revit 2017 by Autodesk. Revit is a piece of software to create and preview architectural uh, projects and like floor plans, structures, buildings, right? Or sort of sketches and buildings. It's um, AutoCAD is extremely uh, heavy duty software. Revit to me is kind of like the little brother of, uh, of Autodesk in a sense. So when you first open it up, uh, you, you gotta be careful here. You got projects and families. So the projects are the like the floor plans and where you put objects in, where families are like single object things that you can put into the drawings. So you can load different, different ones. Um, I wanted to show you quickly, there's a website right here. Um, so BIM object on this site here, you can download uh, all kinds of products. So when new products come out on the market, uh, companies do like, uh, they put out these objects so people can uh, the art designers can use them in their drawings right so uh, you can download a lot of them from company sites or these or these that databases like this BIM project right here right uh, so see BIM object BIM supply um, so I wanted to share that with you so yeah just see like look at different lights and um, uh, look at that windows and yeah horizontal sliders so just just gives you an idea right um, all any material it can be a fit can be put into a family and and, and uses an object in Revit, so it's really awesome. Uh, so you know the goal here is to learn Revit and Autodesk and get it into VRED to get into our very first virtual world that we created, virtual drawing that we created. So uh, we're gonna use Revit as well. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna open the sample project. I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick see on the on the on the left on the right hand side there too. There's all the resources right here that uh, you can ask for help. Uh, this is a pretty awesome piece of software. It um, it has a lot of like help features like bubbles when you when you when you scroll over uh, menu items and things like that. Um, what are we doing here? Come on, get rid of that. Okay, so here is a basic architectural program project. So you can, uh, when you start a new project, you can uh, base it off of structural, um, like I think you can do mechanical, electrical, structural, and then architectural. Uh, and that'll give like a, your, your editing uh, window uh, set to the, that kind of drawing, right? So it's pretty neat stuff. Um, uh, the, the left side here is all the object um, properties and settings. So uh, you can click 2D views uh, by just selecting on the, uh, on the, on the, on the, like on the project browser right here, you can select which level and that'll bring you into the 2D view. Um, you can, uh, it's pretty cool. So here's also, you can save 3D views. Uh, when you're in 2D and 3D on the right corner here, there's, uh, this is like your, your browsing help, but uh, you can, you can uh, see, check the elevation. So let's just jump right, right away over to the east elevation and uh, give you an idea of that. So you have your 2D floor plans. Um, Revit has all these tabs at the top here. So architectural, so you can put walls, doors, windows, and different components, uh, architectural, right? Architecture wise uh, in there. Um, and then uh, they have a structure tab uh, for structural items like beams and uh, the like load bearing walls and all this stuff, right? Uh, pile caps and stuff like that, I think. Uh, the systems is where it gets more technical. Where you can put plumbing and conduits. And so you got arch arch um, uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing in uh, in in that. So uh, it's pretty cool stuff, right? Um, as you guys know, you you generally have to do um, a different drawings for our, uh, electrical and mechanical, right? So uh, back over to architecture. I guess you got to double click to get the elevation. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was just talking away. So yeah, you can switch between elevations. Uh, east, north, um, west. You can you can uh, set custom elevations as well. Uh, they you, you know, when you look at the two D way, uh, you can uh, actually uh, change it in the view um, somewhere. I believe um, you can change the elevations. Right, they have those little markers and stuff like that. So that's that's customizable, which is cool. Uh, let's look at the three uh, D now. Right, so you got two D L. You got your two D um, vertical uh, horizontal for your elevations, um, and then uh, you have three D now. Now, 3d renderings which is incredible um like I, I love this software it's amazing this house is pretty pretty neat right uh so yeah you can basically select and uh select it with modify right you can uh, select things and modify them uh brings up the properties the item properties uh in the left top uh, column um so it's um yeah it's pretty cool you can check out all the different uh uh, properties that you can change and set. Uh, you could uh, say change the pitch and stuff like that. 
um it's pretty neat stuff so um yeah yeah i just i think that uh this is going to be fun learning all this software i just wanted to give you a quick overview of, of it and um i'm going to start into my first drawing pretty soon um i want to get through the just introduction of all the software that i'm i'm going to be using to get our project into virtual reality uh so just quick overviews of all the software this is revit 2017 uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments um I just think that like this is awesome. So you can save all of these different views, uh, but you look at this like uh, section, so wall section. Look at that. So that's a cut through right on the wall section, right? So that's that's really awesome. So this is where you will you look to check out on like things like your flashings and your elevations of different components. Uh, what is in the wall? Some like sometimes you get a close up of like if there's insulation in the wall, and then you can see like the layers, right? Drywall and whatnot. Like there's multiple layers, right? Uh, you zoom in here. Right, and you got your uh, exterior cladding, uh, your drywall, uh, and then your studs. Right, so it uh, sort of works like that. Right, it's uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, usually, it'll draw insulation like wobbly. So you can add lots of families, different objects, uh, different to the to 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 the. Um, uh, like look at the renderings. Right, see this is beautiful. Right. Oh, that last thing. Yeah, you can render the the drawings. Right. So different. Um, uh, renderings isn't that beautiful like that's uh, another really awesome marketing and, and sales feature right um, and um, I think that now that we can see these stuff um, like this and in virtual reality and things like that um, we can have a lot more like the owners can have a lot more involvement in the design right so I think we'll be seeing a lot of um, uh, more custom stuff, right? Which is nice. And then, yeah, these are the drawings, uh, basic drawings. So, oh yeah, look at this. I want to show you, this is really cool. Uh, they, so this house has solar panels and the, this uh, Revit uh, software uh, can do a solar analysis, right? So it'll tell you where the best spot to put the, the solar panels are on the property. Uh, so that's amazing. Uh, the solar analysis, that's a crazy cool, right? Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's that. So we know that, so A, A102 down here at the bottom, that means architectural drawing 102. If it's a structural drawing, it'll have S, so it would be S102. If it was mechanical, it would have an M, and electrical, it would have an E. Uh, plumbing is uh, is in the mechanical uh, drawings. So yeah, that's how that works. That's how that works. Sometimes you'll see a scale here, but always check the scale um, on the drawing, like on the detail itself, right? See, this is one to 100, one to 100. You're lucky that it's all one to 100. Never never really go by that. Always go by what you see um, on the detail itself, because uh, yeah, you could really get screwed up. Um, but yeah, look at the different colors and it's really, you can modify the stuff pretty easily. So um, I'm gonna be uh, designing, uh, I'm gonna probably try to draw uh, like a new house, design a new house, we'll do a cool house up or something like that uh, with all the software. But uh, all right, well, I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video on Revit 2017. It's exciting software, and this is what designers are going to be using. Uh, they use now and in the future. So if you're looking to get into design, this is the kind of stuff you got to start looking at. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look at my new VCG swag. Uh, if you're new to Chris Hunkel Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. Uh, YouTube thinks you might like this video right there. Hope I got it right that time. And below that, I put a playlist for you. This is Chris. Everybody, bye for now.